We are working alongside Mr. Noah Zarate here. Noah, how are you? Uh, great. It's my first time here in Juhai. Looking forward to a great game. That's right. And previous game of both of these teams, you got Hong Kong Eastern losing against the Macau Black Bears. And of course, uh, the Wolf Warriors losing here at home against the Formosa Dreamers by 26 points to be exact. Our final score there was 107 to 81. I'm not just used to seeing uh, Hong Kong Eastern at the bottom of the standings at this time, or probably a little later on uh, last year. They were 7 and 0 to begin the season. That's now right. They get a 1 and 3. Worst start in franchise history. There's a lot of transition going on, but at least they already have one win. The Wolf Warriors are 0 and 3. Looking to change that right here in their building. You saw the team standings already. You saw the previous game off the Wolf Warriors, but let's leave our discussion there first and let's go to the team introductions here. Number eight, Chan Shu Wei. Number ten, Ricky Yang. Number sixteen, Adam Su. Number twenty-four, Shu Kim Fa. Number thirty, Wu Shengpa. Number 88, Lao Tsulai. And here are the starters for the Hong Kong Eastern. City Mark, number two, Marcus Elliott. Corner, number three, Li Li. Small forward, number 15, Eric Ferguson. Power forward, number 14, Tom Sima. And center, number 18, Sama Lebar. The head coach for Hong Kong is going to say Marco Pass. His assistant is for Hong Kong. Number 
All right, going back to our coverage here, this is your ASEAN Basketball League. We are in season number nine, and again, second matchup of the season between Hong Kong Eastern and the Wolf Warriors, both teams at midcourt for our protocol here. Pre-game activities done, and you guys are still joined by Martin Avier, Noah Zarate inside the Domin Gymnasium here in Zhuhai, China. And let's talk about first the Wolf Warriors. They will be needing help, and help is on the way for them. A couple of players added to this roster. First up, we got Mike Bell, six foot nine, power forward for uh, the Wolf Warriors today, going head to head against Eric Ferguson. And Eric Tisby, of course, the new point guard. I was looking for Mario Wuisang. I thought he grew dreadlocks uh, <laughs> just a couple of days, but he is five foot eight. Eric Tisby, 30 years old. Let's see what he, his CBA experience can bring to the table for the Wolf Warriors. And now, Jenning Myung, a spark for the Wolf Warriors against the Formosa Dreamers here at home. Uh, 16 points, three out of five from three-point range, three rebounds, two assists, and four takeaways. Look at that steal, leading to that layup in transition, coming from uh, Jenning Leung, who came all the way from Canada just to play here in the ABL. Well, again, you know, any help that the imports can get from uh, the Wolf Warriors is going to be a big lift to them. We know that Mike Bell is going to be at the forefront of their offense today. But talking about the previous game of uh, these two squads, you know, Hong Kong Eastern, yeah. again, we were talking about them. Not really known to be a team that struggles in the early going, but Eric Ferguson actually had a great game. Yeah, 27 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, and a block for Eric Ferguson. So the length definitely helping here uh, for Eric Ferguson on the defensive end, on the offensive end. But he is going to have his hands full today against Mike Bell, who is an unknown opponent. Uh, because uh, this is going to be Mike Bell's first game here in the ABL in this season. Well, you know, Eric Ferguson, the knock on him is that is he, he, ha he struggles from the outside, but in that game, he hardly noticed it with the 27 points. And Lee Key, usually a staple of the starting unit for coach Edu Torres, came off the bench for the very first time in the season, and he produced off the bench eight points with two out of five three-pointers, three rebounds, three assists, a, uh, well, Great numbers, solid numbers off the bench for Leakey. Not bad for a former school teacher who decided to become a professional right. basketball player. But that's what Chance Yu Wing will do for you. Chance Yu Wing coming off the ACL injury did start that game. Today, Chance Yu Wing is going to be coming off the bench. And we're going to see a lot of Leakey. He can heat up real quick. He's like a real microwave. And they need that if they want win number two. All right, your referees here, your officials for this game. Again, Wolf Warriors going up against Hong Kong Eastern. We've got a good battle also. And the painted area yeah. here, you got Sam Deguara, Eddie Curry going head-to-head -head for the second time in the season. As you see here, you were mentioning uh, that Lee Key will make his way back to the starting unit for Coach Edu Torres. And that's going to be great because his shooting is going to be much needed by Marcus Elliott, who's been, in my opinion, producing too much yeah. in the past three games, trying to lift his team. Uh, the loss of Tyler Lamb, the loss of Christian Stan Hardinger, these are two big names that Hong Kong Eastern has to move forward from at this point. And now the new look, Wolf Warriors. This is a team that started the season 0-3 and three with Mike Bell, Erica Tisby, Eddie Curry. Now they're free world imports. Dejon Mitchell out, Mario Woisang out. And you see here a couple of uh, key players for both teams. You got CC or Kai Chen, uh, one of the best local players we've had here in the league. 16 points, 8 rebounds against the Dreamers. Going up against Deguara. Deguara coming off. Yeah, one of his uh, biggest scoring outputs of the season with 29 points. You know, Sam DeGuara should actually be averaging 29 points at this point. You're looking at Edu Torres, actually, who is the uh, head coach here of Hong Kong Eastern. And bringing in Matt Skillman, who is a very experienced coach here for the Wolf Warriors. You know, He's only guy. been here a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I've known this guy for the past eight years. You see him on your screens right now, Matt Skillman. He has actually uh, been the head coach of the Qatar national team. Okay. And he's also been around at this circuit. He's been in China for the past four years, but he's only been here in Zhuhai for the past three days. Wow. Oh, three days working yeah. with the team. That's going to be tough, but uh, he told us earlier that he had got straight to work when he got here. Right. Matt Skillman looking to change the culture and, of course, improve the record of the Wolf Warriors here in the ASEAN Basketball League. I don't know about you, Martin, but I'm very excited to see this opening jump once yeah. again between uh, two giants <laughs> of the game. Sam Deguar is probably the third tallest active basketball player in the world going up against an NBA veteran, Eddie Curry. And he wins the tip against Eddie Curry. First up is Hong Kong Eastern in this basketball game. Again, 
Hong Kong Eastern losing three straight games after picking up the win in our opening night. And that's Leakey producing right away with a three-pointer. And that's very important here for Hong Kong, establishing that Leakey is supposed to be a marked guy. That's going to open up more opportunities for other, other players. And look at Eric Ferguson here getting the steal, playing the passing lanes well. Marcus Zaliot getting the finish. Good selfish play from the two world imports of Hong Kong Eastern. And you know what? There's going to be an early timeout here for Matt Skillman. Hong Kong is not happy with where they are right now at 1-3, and three, Martin. And they're showing it at the onset of this game. All right, 5 to nothing start here by Hong Kong Eastern. Timeout on the floor. Hong Kong Eastern getting a transition basket right away. Here's the double team. It's a very familiar 1-2-2 two, two, uh, press that uh, Hong Kong keeps on using, though. Eddie Curry inside. And that's going to be a foul against Hong Kong Eastern. Good aggressive play by Eddie Curry to draw the foul. Well, Eddie Curry, you know, Coach Matt Skillman made it clear that when Mike Bell was brought in, it was not in to, he was not in to replace Eddie Curry, but yeah. actually to help alleviate the pressure from the former NBA veteran. And uh, Eddie Curry going to the free throw line right now. Probably one of the biggest names that we've signed here in the ABL yeah. in recent years. Eddie Curry only playing 10 minutes, though, against the Formosa Dreamers. Looking to bounce back in this game. He is uh, an 11-year NBA veteran, Eddie Curry. And, you know, he's going up against Sam DeGuaro, 7'5". Yeah. He's used to banging bodies with Yao Ming That's right. when he was playing in the NBA, so this should not be new to him. He misses the second free throw, but Wolf Warriors on the board already. First point off the game by Eddie Curry. Here is Marcus Elliott, guarded by Shentu, Tang Chi Hang, leaving it to uh, Eric Ferguson. They go inside, DeGuara. Forced to go out, Lee Key, nine seconds to shoot for Hong Kong. Deguara on the roll, and a jam for Big Sam. And that's going to be a problem if they, can't, if they don't have pick and roll defense that can defuse that. Sam Deguara is going to score 40 today yeah. if he continues doing that. <laughs> he is coming off that 29-point outing against the Macau Black Bears, and we've got a foul here underneath. And Sam Deguara will be called for the foul. Now you have to remember that this is Eddie Curry's second time going up against Sam Deguara this season. So Eddie Curry's a smart player. He's going to pick, figure out what his weaknesses are. And he picked up the first foul of Sam Deguara. He's got four fouls left. That's right. Here is Mike Bell off the inbound. Bell working on Ferguson. And that's going to be a turnover here for Mike Bell. Trying to get a feel of this basketball game here. Well, again, unfamiliarity is uh, plaguing that offensive. Uh, we're going to probably not see that happen again. Elliott going to Tang Chi Hang, guarded by the smaller Tisby. Deguara, nowhere to go, goes to Lee Key. Lee Key, oh, bumping Tisby. They go to Ferguson, the corner three. It's good. You know, Ferguson was stroking it very well during the warm-ups. That's why it leads me to believe that, you know, he probably just had a bad game yeah. uh, uh, when uh, he couldn't make those three-pointers. He was 0 for 5 in the last game, makes his first one today. And Hong Kong Eastern jumping on a 10 to 1 start here in this ball game. Mike Bell, Senshu, Kai Chen for three. That's too strong, Eric Ferguson with the board. And Marcus Sellett bringing the ball down. Hong Kong Eastern on the attack again. They go to the corner. Leakey attacking. Leakey kicking it out. Tang Chi Hang looking for his teammate. Eric Ferguson. Leakey will slow it down here. It will go to the Guara. Great ball movement by Hong Kong Eastern. Elliott gets to the lane. Elliott with a floater. Oh, Elliott's two for two to begin this game. That's bad news for the Wolf Warriors. And he's getting them with a lot of ease through that defense of the Wolf Warriors. And now it is a 12 to 1 start for Hong Kong Eastern. Wolf Warriors looking for answers. They will not get it there as they commit a turnover. Well, you know, again, the unfamiliarity is starting to become a factor at this point. They just got to relax. You know, Matt Skillman has already adjusted from being the fiery coach he was at that first time out to being a pacifier for his uh -huh. squad. That's right. Here's Tang Chi Hang attacking Lee Key. Lee Key with space. Lee Key, no good. That was dangerous, though. You don't give him that much space. And if this is going to be on the oh, that's his second foul. Mm -hmm. Second personal foul for Sam Deguara with seven minutes and four seconds remaining here in the first quarter. So you got Yu Shuk Pan checking in for Big Sam. That's going to be a major blow here for the uh, for the momentum that uh, the Hong Kong Eastern has built. Although they do have a 12-1 lead, you shrink a lot That's when right. Sam Deguara sits down. And you now 
have the Wolf Warriors. They have an opportunity to actually take advantage of that mismatch down low. Eric Tisby going to Eddie Curry. Who fires the three? Curry, short. Hong Kong's going to want him to do that all day. Yeah. They're going to be giving him that shot all night long. Here is Ushuk Pan of Marcus Elliott there. Marcus Elliott averaged almost a triple-double last season, showing us why on that play. Oh, Eric Ferguson. Wow. Flying high for that block. You did talk about the fact of Eric Ferguson becoming a factor in this game, Martin, at the start of the game, and it's showing already this early. That's right. The length of Eric Ferguson allowing him to get that block. Tisby. And five-second violation here called against the Wolf Warriors. So the turnover is piling up for them. You know, it's it's hard enough that you have new players come in, but when your point guard's a new player, he really doesn't understand the plays yet. That might have to be a problem. Here's Tan Chi Han attacking. Bounce pass. And Ferguson with a finish underneath. Hong Kong is just having a field day on offense right now. So many easy looks. A high percentage game being shown. And now Marcus Elliott is going to be called for his first foul, Martin. Wow, getting too aggressive there against Eric Tisby. Gambling for the steal there is Marcus Elliott. And Marcus still talking to our official here. So 6 and 11 remaining here. Technical foul called against Marcus Elliott. So Eric Tisby will head to the line for a shot here. So think about it, a personal foul and then a technical foul wow. already. So that's two fouls already on Marcus Elliott this early in the game. And Eric Tisby finally loosening up, getting his first point of the game. But, you know, the loss of your two stars, or if Edu Torres decides to sit yeah. Marcus Elliott down because of the two fouls, that's going to be big because that's going to give all sorts of confidence now to the Wolf Warriors. That is a tremendous development here in the game. Two fouls for De Guara, two fouls for Marcus Elliott. But Elliott will remain on the floor. Here is Mike Bell inside. And again, Ferguson deflecting the shot. They go to Ferguson here on offense. That is deflected by Leung. But it will stay with Hong Kong. And you can see already as uh, this early, they want to establish the fact that there is no Sam Deguara. They just want to get that ball inside. But just great defense there by Hong Kong. 16-2 to two start under six remaining here in the first quarter. Tang Chi Han going to Marcus Elliott here against the smaller Eric Tisby. Elliott fires the turnaround is off. Tisby with the board. Yeah, great help there by Kai Chen. Yeah, Eric Tisby is giving up about five inches in height against Elliott. Bell goes to the corner. Jenning Liu fires the three and knocks it down. Looks like he hasn't stopped from his last game. 16 points in the last game. First attempt goes down. And uh, finally, a field goal yeah. for the Wolf Warriors. First field goal. Yes, that's right. For the Wolf Warriors here. Eric Ferguson against Jenning Leung here. Oh, Leung with great defense there, getting the steal. Tisby stops, shoots, and scores. I'm telling you, he's Mario Wuisang with dreadlocks. <laughs> but, you know, Tisby, if he can actually maintain this pace for his squad, they're going to have a big edge. Back to back freeze for the Wolf Warriors and a miscommunication. Kang Chi Hang went for the high low there with uh, Eric Ferguson, but Eric Ferguson not looking. So a turnover for Hong Kong Eastern. That was actually the correct play drawn up by Coach Edu Torres. The thing is, the pass came a little too early. Yeah. Ferguson wasn't at his spot, Red. That, that's a timing play when you do the high low with Eddie Curry in the area. And here's Tisby kicking it out. Great ball movement so far for the Wolf Warriors. Chris Santu. Wow, what a, a move. A zip run right now, Martin. 16 to 10. It was 16 to 2 earlier. Right. A couple of minutes ago, Leakey fires. No good. Marcus Elliott could not get the rebound. Mike Bell grabs it. See the kind of confidence right now that the Wolf Warriors are starting to get with no Sam DeGuara on the floor. Tisby oh. again! Oh. Eric Tisby nailing. The second three-pointer here in the first quarter. Height is no longer might in the game of basketball. Eric Tisby, good energy from this guy so far. Elliott, crowd chanting defense. Ushuk Pan, strong move. 
Almost made the shot, but that's going to be a foul against the Wolf Warriors. Yeah, I'm so happy that Wuchuk Pan is actually more aggressive right now. Remember, he used to come off the bench for, for Christian Stan Hardinger right. last season. Didn't really get to play much. But now that he's getting all of these minutes, well, he's going to be developing that kind of uh, confidence moving forward. He is going to be playing a lot of minutes in this first half that's right. with uh, Sam Deguara saddled with two personal fouls here in the first. Wushuk Pan actually broke his hand in their first game of the season. That's why he was unable to get this rhythm. Uh, in most of those games, got back in the latter part of the elimination round, and well, it was a slow start for him. Yeah, Martin, but this is still an 11 zip run ongoing for the home team. And when you're on the road, you don't want to give the home team any form of momentum. And Hong Kong is just giving this one away at this point. And the crowd is also getting into it, and that's a free throw in for Wu Shuk Tan. Eric Tisby bringing the ball down here. Tisby attacking this time. No good with the left hand. Ferguson, hop step, gets to the lane, no good. He gets the ball back. Ferguson again, challenging Bell here, going off the glass. You know, we were talking about this before we went on the air. It sort of reminds you of a, uh, a Paul George, Paul George yeah. the way he moves, and he just proved it right there. Here's Kai Chen, putting it on the floor. Short stab is good. Uh, Quote Ronaldo Bauman, confidence, baby, <laughs> confidence. That's exactly what the Wolf Warriors are now starting to show. They know they can beat Hong Kong Eastern. And it's growing by the minute here. It's just a four-point lead for Hong Kong. Who should run? And that's going to be a foul on Shantu. And Shantu had to give that one up. That was just a great uh, look going inside for Wu Chukban, moving well without the ball. And uh, Eddie Curry, you know, there was no rim protector yeah. for a moment there for uh, the Wolf Warriors. And this is a great sub here for Matt Skillman, bringing Mike Bell out. You know, Mike Bell has really been a factor so far. Now let's see if Eddie Curry can clog that, clog that lane. Oh, here's a steal by Shantu, though. Step out of bounds. Tough break here for Shantu. Almost getting the steal. But you got to love that if you're Matt Skillman. Yeah. All your players showing the effort after calling a timeout with, what, 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds gone by in the game. They have responded. <laughs> this lead is down to four. Definitely. So 15 to 19. 307 remaining here in the first quarter. Great action from both teams so far. Leaky again with space. Leaky drops it in. That's his second one in the first. And Leaky loves to start. He and Chan Su Wing are now sharing the floor. Hilo here, Eddie Curry with position, unable to get a handle off the basketball there. Oh, he will stay with the Wolf Warriors, I'm yes. I'm telling you, Martin, you know, Eddie Warriors was a picture of Tom to begin this game. Now he's not. <laughs> His team is now starting to uh, feel the pressure of being at one and three right now. They, they need to get some kind of momentum going. This is a team that they beat, remember, Martin, yeah. this is a team they beat by 39 yeah. points in their first outing. Coach Edu now in his usual animated self on the sideline. And here's Kai Chen against a smaller league. He taking advantage. Liam attacking middle and draws the foul there. I just like the attitude here of Leon not taking the prisoners, kind of driving against the ball players from Hong Kong. And these free throws are going to help him. He did make his first three earlier. Yeah. And, uh, you know, any help that they can get off the bench, players, that's going to propel them against Hong Kong Eastern. They're exactly where they want to be at this point of the game. That's right. And Jenny Young, as you mentioned in the pregame, Great game against the Formosa Dreamers. 16 points and dropped three three-point bombs in that game. They rolled in that first free throw right now. And he gets a high five from Eddie Curry. Uh, Eddie Curry knows what it takes to win a basketball game, but he needs some help. They do have to be now. They do have to help. But in New York and the other locals, Hong Kong is going to have a hard time with this one. So it's now 17. 22 for Hong Kong Eastern. 2 and 40 remaining here in the first quarter. And that's going to be a personal on Eric Tisby. Well, a little overzealous trying to take the ball away from Chan Su Wing that time. And one thing that Eric Tisby will have to adjust to here in the ASEAN Basketball League is the way they call, you know, those over-aggressive uh, yeah. ball hawks. That's right. And this is just going to be a sideline inbound for Hong Kong Eastern. 13th foul for the Wolf Warriors. Oh, here is a steal for Tisby. And a foul quickly by Chan Shu Wing. 
Well, that was just a bad match to begin with. You, know, you, can't take that, you can't take it for granted that the, the defender of your receiver was a little far away. These guys are quick, and uh, Hong Kong is already over the limit. So again, we're going to see more of uh, Disney at the free throw line. And you got to love the defense here, the improvement on defense from the just to begin this game. Right. And the recovery they've had from being uh, 14 points down early, 16 to 2 earlier, to now down 4, 18 to 22. Now the question is, can they sustain That's this? Right. Uh, you know, Disby, if he makes a second free throw, and he does, he's going to be replaced right now by a man we call as more free. More free. In China, Julio Nikki. the best, a clear crowd favorite here in China. Yeah, this kid's got millions of followers <laughs> in social media. John Chu, too strong on the three. Nick Curry, tapping the ball. Initially to, uh, to Jenning Myung, but it's going to stay with Hong Kong Eastern. Ten seconds on the shot clock for Hong Kong here. It has been a 17 to 6 run for the Wolf Warriors ever since that 16 to 2 start by Hong Kong Eastern. Ferguson dropping it to Wu Shuk Pan. Here is Chu Wing. Seven seconds to work with. Ferguson wide open for three. And rims out. Oh, Lee Key getting them another opportunity here. Lee Key. Splits the defense, goes to Wushu, five mid-range, Jay is good! Whenever you want, you have that in your arsenal and can you actually <laughs> use it? Wushu, man, is starting to become a contributor. He will play heavy minutes here in the first, and he's making the most of it. There's a little bit of range also here. Right. Hi, Chen. He's got the mismatch. Oh, Jenning here, bumping into Chan Chu Wing. A blocking foul called on Chan Chu Wing. Uh, Marcus Elliott is also down on the floor right now. Chance you wait, they need his offense, but he's picked up two defensive fouls. And look at this, Lee Key's going to sit down. So now the, a lot of the offense has to go yeah. through Chance you wait, and the guy who just checked in. Wolf Warriors able to get freebies at the free throw line here because Hong Kong Eastern has been here in the first quarter. The whole court bounce. That's right. <laughs> that was on its way out. <laughs> Check this, uh, Noel. Chan Chu Wing with two fouls. Marcus Elliott with two fouls. Eric Ferguson with two fouls. And De Guara also with two fouls. Yeah, that's uh, Eddie Torres is one, gonna want that second period to begin so he can start using some of these players already. He is uh, probably using a lineup that he has not seen together except in practice. And Wolf Warriors so far able to take advantage. Pouncing on the opportunity here. John Chu almost losing it. Finding a teammate here, Xu Wing. Six, six seconds left for Hong Kong. Four seconds left. Xu Wing forced to take one up, off to the side. And Wu Yo grabbing the rebound. Getting it to Yan. Yan, double team. Back to Morphree. Nope, it bounces out, but it will stay with the Wolf Warriors. That's just excellent defense there by Chan Xu Wing. There are no signs. If you're watching Chan Xu Wing for the first time, no signs of him. Recovery, uh, suffering an ACL yeah, injury right. that sidelined him for the entire season last year. And looks like we're going to have a little bit of a question with our lady commissioner from Macau, Edu Torres, will always have something to ask the table officials. <laughs> Endless questions coming from Coach Edu Torres, of course. As uh, 24 21, a chance for the Wolf Warriors to inch closer here. You got Wu Yo against Chan Shu Wing, double team. Gets it to Kai oh, Chen. Pass. Great pass. Very very though. Cannot finish. But he will draw the personal foul. Uh, this is what you call team bonding within the game already. Uh, and he kind of apologizing vehemently right there to Kai Chen for missing that layup because of the great effort that his teammates did to get him that open look. But Eddie Curry's going to get back to the free throw line. And Matt Skillman, you know, yeah. he's pushing the right buttons right now right. for the Wolf Warriors. Not bad, for, not bad for a coach who's been here for three days. That's right. Well, the thing with Matt Skillman is he couldn't leave. He was a, a resident of Qatar. He had to leave. He couldn't get an exit visa. Yeah. You don't get those exit visas overnight. That's he had right. to wait two to three days to actually get it. But when he got here, as you mentioned, he just got straight to work. Mm -hmm. And it's paying off right now. Now, Eddie Curry dropping in 
two free throws there to cut the lead down to a point. This is a timeout for coach Edu Torres. He has seen enough. Your CN Basketball League will return. here one point lead for Hong Kong Eastern 24 23 with under a minute remaining here in the first quarter and they will set up here Ricky Yang gets to the lane no good on the shot battle for the rebound jump ball and possession arrow uh, will point to the Wolf Warriors here I might give the first that he's sending it right now editor is setting in his next generation this is a team in transition no more Tyler Lamb, no more Christian Stan Hardinger in their lineup. And at this point, no Marcus Elliott and no Sam Deguara. That's right. An all-local team on the floor here for Hong Kong Eastern. Ball fake for Kai Chen. They go to Eddie Curry. Cross-court pass. Yang from the corner. That is short. Hong Kong will get it back here. Ricky Yang. It about... Six seconds difference between the clocks here. Ricky Young still with a basketball. Adam Chu fires off to the side. And Kai Chen called for the foul here. Uh, he's lucky he didn't get a, a landing spot call right there. He took away the landing spot of Adam Zhu. And Kai wow. Chen, and, and Matt Skillman is all over our referees <laughs> right now. But, you know, Matt Skillman's used to the international game as well. He's just going to whisper something and then laugh at it. But I don't know if they're, are they giving three free throws or just two free throws here to Adam Zoo? Take a look at this again. Mm -hmm. That landing spot, well, we didn't see it there, but that landing spot was taken away. And Kai Chen was very lucky. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a sideline inbound for Hong Kong Eastern. Interesting. Wow. We thought that was a shooting. So 14 seconds left on the clock. A 0.5 difference between the two clocks. Tang Chi Han. John Shu on the curling uh, Ricky Yang here. Eight seconds to shoot. Tang, he drives, kicking it out. John Shu, no good on the three. Adam Su gets it back, takes the shot. No good at the buzzer. And that's how we will end a very competitive first quarter of play here in Domen Gymnasium, Zhuhai, China. Hong Kong Eastern. Hanging on to this one point lead at the end of the first 24. The first going into the second, Hong Kong Eastern with a one point advantage. And the story of the first quarter as well was the fight back of the North Warriors. We thought Hong Kong was going to pull away with a 16 point start. The first four or five minutes of the game, as we see there, Marcus Elliott scored the first basket of the second frame. But then, you know, people started to get into foul trouble, and the Wolf Warriors pounce on the opportunity coming back in this game. And you know, at, at Tisby has actually been doing a great job already, realizing the strengths and weaknesses of his teammates and getting them involved. But I have to give kudos here, Martin, yeah. to the youngsters of Coach Ed Torres that oh, second and third unit in the first yeah. quarter for sure, for sure. actually still preserved the lead oh, 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 despite the oh, fact oh, that the Wolf oh, picked away at it. They still had the lead. They got the job done. And I'm sure Coach Ed is very proud of his youngsters. 
That was an all-local lineup they played in probably the last minute and a half yeah. of that first quarter. Shantu goes to Kai Chen, short stab, it's off. Iguana with the rebound. Eddie Curry was looking for the third on Sam Iguana. Might have had a case. Lee Key surveying the floor goes to Marcus Elliott. Elliott using that screen. Marcus still with the basketball here. Lots of time to take a shot for Hong Kong. Northern on the shot there is Ricky Yan. Here is uh, Eric Tisby. Eric Tisby will pull back. Tisby back to Kai Chen. Chen drives on his left. Eddie Curry mid-range. Short for Eddie Curry, so the jumper is not there for Eddie yet. That's a shot he should knock down because we know he can knock it down, and he's being given that by Sam Deguara right now. Here is Marcus. No good on the shot through traffic. Deguara towering over two men. And they will uh, kick it out. Leakey with space. Leakey knocks it down again. And you know, Shentu had better make sure that he's still on defense. That was practically a four on five. He was leaking out already at midcourt. That allowed Leakey to hit his third three of the game. Leakey. Oh, what a game here in the first half for Leakey. As you mentioned, third triple for him. Mike Bell working on Elliott. The cross court to Shentu. Kai Chen going to Tisby. Open look. Tisby. That is too strong. Bell cannot secure it, but it will stay with the Wolf Warriors. Yeah, Mike Bell has been the missing factor so far here, being outplayed so far by Ferguson at this point, but he's just getting his feet wet. But you know, how long before a 36 year old veteran That's actually right. gets it done? And now he is guarded by Marcus Elliott, so he has the height advantage here. Oh, Kai Chen, his pass deflected. And Wolf Warriors, they have 12 seconds to get a shot off here. Tisby will trigger it in. Kai Chen. Mike Bell against the smaller Tang Chi Hang, and Bell will convert. Yeah, finally, they, they started the zone up already, not respecting the raid. Mike Bell, they're probably going to change their defense the next time around. First shot in here for Mike Bell. Only the second attempt also in this game. Ricky Yang seeing the opening, drops it off to that water underneath. And you know, Kai Chen was just looking somewhere else at that moment. His mind was somewhere else. That allowed Yang to get all the way to the hoop. And speaking of going all the way, Eric Tisby though missing the layup. Dekwara playing point guard for a bit there. Li Ki on the drive, banking it in. He's such an efficient player. 11 points already in the game here for the former physical education teacher. Yeah. Li Ki. Easily his best game of the season so far. 11 points all in the first half here. And a personal foul against Hong Kong. And this lead by Hong Kong Eastern is growing once again. The unit on the floor has to continue the intensity that was started in the first. Hong Kong Eastern on a 9-2 run to begin the second frame. Eddie Curry, just me for three. Oh, no good. Tang Chihan with the rebound here. You like the pressure. Oh. Oh. Wolf Warriors getting the steal and Shantu with a finish. Shantu just redeemed himself from that last uh, possession. And they just got to stay aggressive. They're not going to win this game in the second oh, quarter, but if they stay aggressive, they might wind up on top at the fourth, at the end of the fourth. Wolf Warriors applying the full court press earlier. Neguara facing up against Eddie Curry. Iguana backing down, Iguana, short look will not work. That's how Eddie Curry stops somebody like Yao Wei, just use his body. Oh, Eric Tisby with fancy dribbling at midcourt. Mike Bell could not finish. But Mike Bell is still suffering from jet lag the way he's playing. That's right. Elliot fires. No good, Eddie Curry with the board. Here come the Wolf Warriors. Down by six points, 27-33. Eric Tisby with a basketball. Kai Chen fires. Kai Chen knocks it down. How about that a stretch for you? are looking at probably the tallest front line in the league right now. With six foot eight, Kai Chen, six foot ten, um, uh, Bell, and yes. seven foot Eddie Curry. Kai eight Chen. second violation. Oh. And they forced the turnover. Wow. Oh, Warriors. Tremendous defense again. Trying to come back here in this game. And now Wu Shukpan. Yeah, they got to match the height right now yeah. that uh, the Wolf Warriors have on the floor. 
So it looks like Ferguson is in once again. Yeah. Eric Ferguson in. Eric Bisbee breaking away. Cut the basket plus the foul. He is so small and so shifty that he got all the way to the rim before Lee King knew that he had passed him. Wow, Eric Tisby. Look at the activity from this guy. <laughs> Defense caught napping there. Allowing Eric Tisby to attack, cut, and lay it up and in, completing the three-point play. That's a magic trick there by Tisby because Leakey just glanced away for a split second and he was gone. Eric Tisby with 12 points in the first half, and we are tied here. 33 all Marcus Elliott could not break it. And the Wolf Warriors must the attack again. Martin, this is a team that Hong Kong beat by 39 points, and they have a chance to grab the lead. Oh, Shantu, I was halfway down for him. Ferguson splitting the defense. Gets his own miss. Ferguson with a quick guy. That's a great patience there shown by Ferguson. And he just stayed with it. The Hong Kong Eastern boy, the Wolf Warriors are breathing down their necks right now. My tip oh, bounces out. Two. So yeah, this is for the Wolf Warriors. So giving Hong Kong Eastern the four-point advantage, 37-33, and two baskets in transition. That's going to be a delay of game, though, on, on Ferguson. You know, for a split second, I thought I was looking at Mike Singletary, yeah. the way he just attacked mm, there. That's right. And under five remaining here, Hong Kong Eastern. Again, the Wolf Warriors, Martin, they're exactly where they want to be in this game. They will not win this game in the second quarter. Right. The way they're playing right now, Hong Kong had better come up with a big spurt later on. Otherwise, this could be in their favor. Mike Bell fires. Off to the right. He needs to shoot that to establish the fact that he is a stretch for it. That's right. Here's Elliott working on a smaller Tisby. Elliott with the left hand. It's off. Mike Bell with the board. Head to Tisby here. Tisby on the move. Tisby. Leon fires. It's off. They got the ball back though. Shantu with a board. You know, the way the Wolf Warriors are playing, you would probably think that they've been practicing together for yeah. the past two months. And you love the activity from Tisby. Just letting the offense flow through him. Shantu, no good. I like that shot though. That was a confident stroke. They just want to keep the defense honest. And now Hong Kong Eastern. A chance to extend this lead to a more comfortable margin. John Chu getting into Lee Key on the curl. Eight seconds to shoot for Hong Kong. Lee Key to the rolling Deguana. And that's gonna be a blocking foul called against CC Kai Chen. Well, that's again, that's that's better pick and roll defense now played by the Wolf Warriors. They knew it was coming. Deguana's just a little too big, but at least he did get the shot off. So this is gonna be a sideline inbound. And only the first team foul also for the Wolf Warriors here in the second quarter. Getting it at the 3 and 49 mark. And Lee Key fires. Ooh, he is fouled there by Jenning Leung. Well, that is the veteran Lee Key, you know, member of the Hong Kong national team for several years. He knows exactly where the defense is. And uh, Leung just you know, shaking his head. He, he bit into that one. And you get put Lee Key at the line. That's usually like an ATM. It's seldom offline, but again, we, there's such a thing as the broadcaster's first. So. <laughs> I was going to tell you, <laughs> he might change his free throws here. Leaky doing well here in the first half. 11 points already. Make that 12 for Leaky. And he is keeping Chan Siu Wing on the bench. You know, yeah. it's great that Chan Siu Wing is back in action. But for the time that Chan Siu Wing was not with Hot on Easter, mm -hmm. it was Leaky's team. That's right. Two for two now for Leaky. And first trip to the free throw line here. He's got one more on the way here. What a performance and a good follow up game. That's 66% from the field, including three triples wow. for Lee Key. And make that 14 points now for Lee Key. And stretching the lead to seven points here 40 to 33. Tisby. Kai Chen, they break the press, yes. Right, Martin, this is actually seven unanswered points already for Hong Kong Eastern. Here is Shen Tu. Marcus Elliott on the, uh, called on the poke there. So it's going to be Wolf Warriors basketball still. That's right. Ever since tying the game 33 all earlier, Hong Kong Eastern scoring seven straight points. And that's the experience of Hong Kong Eastern playing under the system that they have over the past three years. 
Mike Bell. Tisby for three. Tisby knocks it in. That's his first since the first quarter. That is a very important shot to knock down because they're starting to zone up with the Wolf Warriors. That keeps the defense at it on its toes. Tisby performing out of big stage here. Yeah. Answered though by John Shue. Wow. And they don't know what John Shue can do. He just showed exactly why Edu Torres brought him in. Seven point lead again for Hong Kong. They go back to Tisby here. Cross court, they go to Curry. Underneath, double teamed. Curry short stab, it's off. And Marcus gets the board. Marcus Elliott will slow it down here. Nope, he will go to Ferguson. But Ferguson missing the gimme. Tisby on the move. He goes to Kai Chen, and Kai Chen with a basket on the foul. How many efforts have we seen here from the Wolf Warriors? Usually the aggressive team gets rewarded. They have stayed aggressive. They have fallen behind once again. But you know, the way they are attacking the paint right now, they know that Sam Deguar is not on the floor. This is their time to shine. And again, the big man, Kai Chen, getting rewarded on the break. And getting the three-point play to fall. Now, this guy played four seasons in the CBA yeah. before coming over here to the uh, ASEAN Basketball League. And he's going to take a seat right now. So from a very big lineup mm -hmm. to a what, somewhat a smaller lineup right now for Matt Skillman, it's going to be interesting how Andrew Torres matches up. And we're going to see Lao Tsilai mm. come in for the first time. Here's That's another right. dead shot for Hong Kong Eastern. So you got Marcus Elliott, John Shu, Lao Tsi Lai, and Wu Shuk Pan with Eric Ferguson on the floor for Hong Kong Eastern. Elliott from mid-range. Mike Bell snatching the rebound there. Now Elliott's been struggling from the field after starting out uh, hitting his first two shots in the first quarter. Eric Tisby. They go to Kui. Kui goes to Leung. Hey. Leung backtracks, goes to Eddie Curry. Eight seconds to work with. Leung going to Eddie Curry. That hasn't worked. Goes in and out. Yeah, Eddie Curry missed the screen that time. That would have been an easy pick and roll. Elliot backs up, slows him down. Back down on Tisby here. He has the height advantage. They go to the corner. Shoot for Curry. Shoot knocks it in. This is the problem now. If Hong Kong Eastern shooters start to connect, the Wolf Warriors do not have enough guys to defend that perimeter. And two triples here in the second quarter for John Shu, the fire extinguisher for Hong Kong Eastern so far. Mike Bell catching the pass against Ferguson now. High low here, Eddie Curry with a catch. Foul on the floor. Oh, they called three nope. seconds on yeah. Eddie Curry. Wow, turnover here on the Wolf Warriors. Stayed a bit too long in the painted area there. So timeout here by coach Edu Torres. They've got the seven point advantage here, 46 39. Back to the action, resuming our coverage of the ninth season of European Basketball League. Game at hand here, Wolf Warriors against Hong Kong Eastern in Zhuhai, China. And it is a seven-point advantage here for Hong Kong Eastern, 46 to 39. The Wolf Warriors have actually done a great job in uh, hanging around with Hong Kong Eastern here in this game. The problem is Hong Kong Eastern is now starting to hit from the outside. Oh, and it's Ferguson, it's not guys like Elliott, it's the locals who are yeah. starting to chip in. That's John Shu with a couple of three pointers here. Nikki also contributing. Eric Ferguson on the attack now. On the no good. The Wolf Warriors. Opportunity to trim the lead before the first half ends. A minute remaining here. We from the corner. That's too strong. Elliott chasing the ball there. Marcus. With a ball, faking and getting the foul. That's a veteran move from Marcus. That's an MVP move right there from Marcus Elliott. He knew that he was being pursued by somebody who wanted to make up for missing an open shot. And Marcus Elliott is going to get to the free throw line. Now, Elliott's better got to slow down. He's been teed up already. He's got a technical foul already under his name in that first quarter. And he's still enjoying it, our officials. I remember a game in the, in the finals of Jimmy Martin a couple of seasons ago where he actually got tossed at home in game one of the finals. And these referees here at the ABL, they don't care if you're the MVP. They're going to they're gonna give you sanctions if you need to be sanctioned. Marcus Senna is actually struggling 
uh, from the field in the past few games. Against the Macau Black Bears, he was only 8 out of 22 from the field. And tonight, to start this one, he is 3 out of 9. Well, he did make his first two shots, which means, which means he's 1 of 7 since. Mm -hmm. And these free throws are probably going to help him. He's missing more of those medium-range elbow jumpers that they're allowing him to take. Mm -hmm. And Marcus, that is two for two. So eight points now for Marcus Saliot to go along with four rebounds and six assists. Still flirting with a triple-double, though, is Marcus Saliot. Uh, he always does that. Here's Kui firing again. Short, Eddie Curry with a board. And a rebound and a putback. He's just looking for a foul that time. But again, Kui has to take those shots. He has to make himself known as a shooter. Otherwise, the defense will not respect him. Ricky Yan, oh. dishing it to John Chu. That time too strong. And that's the bullet that time. Just be tracked oh. down the ball. Just be blowing by his opponent. Able to draw the foul. At the rim there against Ricky Yang. That was a great effort, but Disby had a drop pass right there to Kui. That could have made life easier for the Wolf That's Warriors. Sure. However, this is going to help the confidence of the 30-year-old. He is a practice player in the CBA, finally getting some limelight here in the SEN basketball league. That's right. He is making the most out of this opportunity given by the Wolf Warriors. 16 points to lead away in the first half and has been uh, spearheading this comeback of the Wolf Warriors. More importantly, six of six from the free throw line. 43, 48, 25 and a half seconds remaining here in the first half. And Ricky Yao now will bring it down for Hong Kong. Again, led it by as many as 14 points. Very early in the first quarter. We saw their lead vanish. They're spreading the shooters here. Leaky. Attacking. And we called for the personal foul. Uh, they did have a foul to give here, Martin, that they used it at the right time. It was before the shot, 8.3. And there's going to be a timeout here by Matt Skillman. Excellent timeout to try and stop this offense of Hong Kong. Timeout. Cutting back to the action here, a quick uh, regroup for the Wolf Warriors to set up their defense. 8.3 seconds remaining here in the first half, and Eastern with a five-point lead, 48-43, and a lot of time to get a shot off here, Noel, for Hong Kong. Well, they do have all the shooters now trying to space the floor. They had a play earlier, mm -hmm. but the foul to give stopped that. Let's see if they run the same play. Coming off two screens, they want, they want to get uh, Lao Tsi Lai this time. Ball. This is an all-local lineup on the floor for Eastern. Lao Tsi Lai. Lee Ki. Oh. That's going to be called. A foul here against Eric Tisby. I don't know about that one. Looked like Eric Tisby got a clean swipe. And anybody wow. has something to say about that as well. So I don't know if they're going to call this one a shooting foul, Martin, but that looked like a clean pick by Tisby. You know, sometimes the positions of the referees are very important also right. in making these calls. And uh, well, Leakey's got to get back to the line. Wow, big break here for Hong Kong Eastern. Leakey dropping in the first. He's been perfect out the free throw line. Four out of four. He's actually the leading scorer of the squad yeah. right now. 15 points. He scored for both teams, missing his first free throw there. Two seconds remaining. Mike Bell with a heave. Oh! That was close for Mike. 
Nonetheless, at the end of the first half here, two quarters of play done. Hong Kong Eastern maintaining the six-point advantage, 49-43. Halftime stats and analysis we, when we return. This is your ASEAN Basketball League season number nine, right here live in Domain Gymnasium in Zhuhai, China. Moments away from the start of the second half, once again, we are coming to you live from Domin Gymnasium here in Zhuhai, China, for once again the live and exclusive coverage of the ninth season of your ASEAN Basketball League. Right now, the Wolf Warriors going into the second half, down by six points, 43-49 against the visiting Hong Kong Eastern. You guys have Martin Aguirre and Noah Zarate joining the coverage here. And, well, let's go first to the Wolf Warriors. What uh, adjustments do they need to make uh, in the second and half in order to overtake Hong Kong Easter. You know, before we get into that, uh, this is actually a tale of two coaches That's right. who are, uh, who are, you know, looking at the lead right now. Uh, Edu Torres looking at the lead for Hong Kong, he's distressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, Matt Skillman looking at the deficit right now, he's happy. Yeah. So it's not every day that you see coaches uh, with the contrasting uh, attitudes right now because you have to remember that Hong Kong beat the Wolf Warriors by 39 points in their first meeting. This is a completely different, uh, this is a complete turnaround already from that. Now, as far as the adjustments go here for the Wolf Warriors, yeah. the perimeter defense has been really lacking. And uh, guys like, uh, uh, like Lee Key, who's leading, who's actually leading the way now for Hong Kong, uh, not the import, it's the local Lee Key. Uh, he has been really thriving here, and we expect to see more outside shooting unless the Wolf Warriors can actually adjust to that here in the third. And Hong Kong Eastern, well, they got to level up to the energy by the Wolf Warriors here. Eric Tisby, Shentu, as uh, second half begins here in Domin Gymnasium. Tisby caught through traffic violation. That's not a good start for the Wolf Warriors here, a turnover right away. But again, if you're Matt Skillman, you like it that you're still being aggressive. That, that halftime break did not do anything to temper the aggression yeah. of the Wolf Warriors. Eric Tisby, his aggressiveness got him 17 points in the first half with deflection from behind from Mike Bell. Here is Tisby on the move. Three on one break. By Chen, one dribble in. That is deflected from behind. But they're going to say it's Hong Kong Eastern basketball. Uh, Matt Skillman did not like that call. And actually, that pass could have gone on the other side where the defense wasn't there. Yeah. But uh, it's going to be a turnover. No finish for the Wolf Warriors, who again are looking for their first victory of the season here in four games. Eric Tisby, though. Wolf Warriors getting it back. Tisby, double team, drops it off to Chen, and Chen. These two guys, they've been passing the ball to each other a lot since the first half, and Chen has to, CC has to make those kinds of shots. 45-49 now, first two points belonging to the Wolf Warriors. And now it's Ricky Yang, he starts the second half for Hong Kong Eastern. Good energy here, going with the left hand there, no good. He scrambles for the basketball, but they're going to call it a turnover against Ricky Yang. Yeah, they're going to call him for a kick ball, trying to get the ball with his foot. And again, this you, if you're Edu Torres, you're very distressed right now that you cannot make a field goal right. despite matching the aggression of your opponent. Here's Eddie Curry. Will Foyers unable to convert there. Eric Ferguson on the move. Ferguson challenging Kai Chen and he finishes. Nobody stopping the ball that time. Nobody putting a body in front of Ferguson. How about Ricky Yang? Yeah. Good hands there by Ricky Yang. Getting the steal. Marcus Elliott will uh, wait for his teammates here. Doesn't have the numbers. Will pull back. Ferguson now on top. Ferguson, the hesitation. Oh, good conversion there by Eric Ferguson going off the glass. Now, for the imports of Hong Kong Eastern, they have to realize that they can actually outpower yeah. the lineup on the floor right now. Mike Bell for three. That is off from the corner. Hasn't gotten the touch in this game. Well, if Marcus Elliott is struggling on the, uh, struggling on the side of Hong Kong, it's Mike Bell struggling on the side of the Wolf Warriors. How about that? In the meantime, Eric Ferguson, 18 points now in the game. Stretching the lead back to double digits here to 11. Remember, he came off a 27-point performance, and he's showing us the stroke in this game. How will the Wolf Warriors respond? A oh, good pass inside, and Kai Chen with a conversion. And you can see that Mike Bell is the consummate veteran there. He had an open three, looked for a higher percentage shot, and they got it. 
Wolf Warriors down by nine. Marcus Elliott, short stab. Now three out of ten from the field is Marcus. One of eight since making his first two shots. Shantou fires. And Bell grabbing the offensive rebound. Wolf Warriors oh. again, Kai Chen. This time unable to score on the cut. Well, that's Sam Deguara there, though, but that's a great pass there by Mike Bell. Marcus still off. Out that pass, Kai Chen. Challenged by Elliott, has the height advantage. Kai Chen with a finish off the turnaround, Jay. That's just pure talent there for the former CBA veteran. Look at this, Wolf Warriors just hanging around. Four straight points for the Wolf Warriors. Six and 35 remaining here in the third quarter. Ricky Yang going to Ferguson. Ferguson attacking, Ferguson flying in for that dunk. And you know, the defense got off balance there because Ricky Yang already established that he is a penetrator. Penetrated the first time, did it again, but the defense went to him and uh, Ferguson had an open lane. And how about Ferguson breaking down the defense of uh, the Wolf Warriors here in our 20 points in the ball game. Mike Bell against Ferguson now. Bell on the turnaround there, no good. Mike Bell still struggling from the field. Ricky Yang now, crossover on Tisby. Oh. Yang, still with a basketball, looking for the screen. He goes to Elliott. They swing it to Ferguson. 10 seconds to work with for Hong Kong. Ferguson on the pull-up. Ferguson still hot. He's showing a Kevin Durant type of touch <laughs> today. And uh, this, this debunks all of the uh, scouting reports and says he's not a really good, uh, not a really good outside shooter. He's proving it today. Eric Ferguson now with 22 points. Eric Tisby gets to the painted area. Back out to Tisby. Tisby, Kai Chen, short stab. Not it short. Elliott getting the rebound. Uh, Eddie Curry's got to get more involved in the offense. He's been posting up, but he's not been asking for the ball. Elliott. Using that Deguara screen, Marcus attacking, Marcus getting the contact, and he gets it anyway. Well, that's his first field goal since God knows when in the first yeah. half. Mark Elliott, now four out of 11 from the field. Eric Tisby now in the basketball. Under five remaining here in the third. Tisby banging that one in for three. Saturday, the banks are closed, but not for Eric Tisby. Back to a 10-point game here. 20 points now for Eric Tisby. Elliott, Ferguson to Deguara with position, taking advantage of the smaller Kai Chen. And that's going to force Matt Skilma to call a timeout. That's sealed by Deguara. Nobody helping down underneath. 7 5 against 6 8. 7 5 wins. We go back to the action here, and Hong Kong Eastern now on top by 12 points, 64 to 52 against the Wolf Warriors. Wolf Warriors badly needing a basket, and oh, they get it to Mike Bell. Mike Bell had better start heating up here in the third. They've been waiting too long, and it's still a double-ditch spread for Hong Kong. 64-54, oh. John Chu left alone underneath. Communication is key to any defense, especially with a team that hasn't really known each other very well with some new players. And you see the, some of the, the lapses here defensively for the Wolf Warriors. They swing it around, Kai Chen, no good on the shot. Elliott wins the rebound. Here is Marcus on the move. John Chu fires. John Chu too strong, Elliott gets the rebound. Elliott lobbing it up, Ferguson with a catch, unable to finish though. And now that Eddie Curry is on the bench, it's going to be Mike Bell who's the rim protector. Shannon Leung cannot make the three. Another rebound from Marcus Elliott here. John Chu hesitating on the three-pointer, throws the ball away. Just be on the move, cross court. Shannon Leung, Senchu. Kicking it out to Mike Bell, baseline, Jay is good. That's this great patience, looking for the best available shot. Wolf Warriors now working more as a unit since Eddie Curry sat down. And now Mike Bell has hit a couple of jumpers here. Trying to get his rhythm back in this game. 
Marcus working on Shentu. Lopping it up, Mike Bell getting the steal. Oh, great outlet, Shentu faking it. Oh, unable to finish, bothered by the defense of Marcus Elliott. And Shentu is going to be called for the foul right there. That's a shot that he should have made. Marcus Elliott wasn't even going to challenge that, but the mere presence of the former MVP made him change that shot. 10 point game here, 66 to 56. And personal change for Hong Kong Eastern. You got Tang Chi Han coming in for John Shu. And now Leaky for Ricky Yang. Leaky, of course, leading scorer in our first half. And seeing his first action here in the second yeah. half. 15 points for Lee. Like so. Here's what we talked about at the top of the coverage. It's now going to be Tisby guarding uh, yeah. Marcus Elliott, but they, there's a switch. Leaky using that screen. Beguara on the roll. And he will be fouled on his way to the basket. Again, if they do the pick and roll against a unit this small, it's right now it's Mike Bell who's playing center yes. for the Wolf Warriors. It's almost impossible to stop Sam Deguara without fouling him. And Hong Kong Eastern recognizing that, taking advantage, going to Deguara right away. And you rarely see Sam Deguara on the roll. Yeah. Uh, rolling, or at the very least. But because he has a small guy on him, he is able to take advantage of that. Yeah, we didn't see much of that when he was playing for Mono Vampire, but uh, Coach Edu Torres knows exactly what, what to do with the pieces that he has. Yeah. So he's developed this pick and roll now with the seven foot five multi sensation. And the Guara drops in the second free throw, extending the lead once again to 11 points, 67 to 56. You got Eric Tisby now. Working on Shu Wing. Tisby to Mike Bell. Shentu. They go to the baseline. They swing it around. Five seconds to shoot for the Wolf Warriors. Tisby with a find. Shentu could not finish. Another sorry miss for Shentu underneath. That's just excellent patience shown on that offensive. Leakey steps into a three. It's good! <laughs> Leakey is playing his best game of the season right now. We talked about this. He came off eight points, mm. made our highlight reel right. with eight points alone. And now Leakey is what? Looking at uh, 20 points in this game so far. Oh, 18. That 18 points, yeah. yeah. 18 points now for Leakey. And Tisby, Bell una unable to convert on the reverse. You know, and I think Matt Skillman is already seeing that they're being outclassed at this point, yeah. but you know, Wolf Warriors, this is the first game under Matt Skillman. Imagine if they get in the three or four more practices before their next game. Yeah. This is going to be a cohesive unit. That's right. And in their first uh, three games of the season, they're actually giving up 116 points. That's Shentu missing in transition, looking for the foul right after. Here is Tang Chi Hang, Shu Wing going to Deguara, and yeah. Deguara jams it home. Can't do anything about that. I mean, Mike Bell may be six foot ten, but he's not as big or as wide as Eddie Curry, and Sam Deguara just bullied his way in. And this lead slowly ballooning. It's now at 16 points, and that's a good screen given up by Zhao. Eric Tisby able to draw the personal foul on Shu Wing. Uh, here's Eddie Curry right now. I mean, Eddie Curry might not be a true rim protector, but at least he has enough bulk to body up against Sam Deguara. And I was talking about going back to the point, to my point earlier, Noel. Before oh. this game, as Mike Bell drops in the three-pointer there, Wolf Warriors were actually giving up a losing margin of 32 points per game. That's not going to happen here today. Here's Tang Chi Ha. Working on Zhao, here is Ferguson. Mike Bell on him. Ferguson yeah, using that screen. Aguada again. again, all alone for that jam. They have to figure out that pick and roll, otherwise Aguara's gonna score another career high. Tisby out of control. Zhao attacking, driving. Zhao hustling for the basketball. Picked up by Ferguson. And Ferguson bumping into Eric Tisby. Tisby called for the blocking foul. Well, that's taking one for the team there for Eric Tisby. Yeah. He oh, had to give that foul up. That's just the second play. foul, though. Yeah. Jao with a save. Saving it to the wrong guy, though. Eric Ferguson ramming into Eric Tisby there. 
They're getting a little careless right now with the basketball. Wolf Warriors are. They don't have a legitimate post option. Mm -hmm. Eddie Curry's still not asking for the ball in the paint, though. And it's finally back on the floor. Now on De Guara. So let's see if uh, Eddie Curry can make a Great difference call. here. Great yeah. call right here. And, and Edu Torres is going to challenge this call, but that's a great call. Chance you wing stuck out his wing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just took out part of the ribs of, uh, of Tisby. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. No problem. No problem for a vet. <laughs> 15 point advantage. Oh, here. it's the other way now. Wow. So we trade calls here. This time the offensive oh, foul called on Eric Tisby. It's gonna be number three on Tisby though. And he has been very aggressive defensively and all this time we didn't even notice Marcus Elliott was sitting down for Hong Kong Eastern. That's right. The way they were able to play without Elliott building the lead, extending it to a double digit advantage. Now the way Hong Kong Eastern is playing right now, maybe they can get the win against the Wolf Warriors, but when they go up against the likes of uh, the Singapore Slingers, That's right. a la Filipinas, this just cannot do. And Marcus Elliott looking for that screen. Tang gives it to him. Lao Chi Lai regrouping. Tang Chi Han puts it on the floor. Two seconds to shoot. That's great defense played by the Wolf Warriors. They're going to call the shot clock violation first because Oh, there's gonna be there's gonna be a foul. Let's see, but time will expire here in the third quarter, and at the end of three quarters of play. quarter almost underway here inside Doman Gymnasium in Zhuhai China this is your ASEAN Basketball League and battle between the Wolf Warriors and Hong Kong Eastern Hong Kong outscoring the Wolf Warriors 25 to 16 and that third quarter to grab the 15 point lead going into our final frame you guys got Martin Avier and Noah Zarate doing this game and once again this is your ASEAN Basketball League first possession here in the fourth for Hong Kong Eastern, Lao Chi Lai, wide open look, dropping that one in. Uh, I, was saying, I was about to say, that was better pick and roll defense. However, during the second opportunity, they forgot that the shooters were still loose for Hong Kong. And Lao Chi Lai making them pay. Eddie Curry at the post. Oh, he's got to establish this. Curry with a short stab. There you go. That's good. They need Eddie Curry to establish some kind of presence so that Sam DeGuara will have something to be busy with on the defensive end. Eddie Curry now with seven points in the contest. Lao Chi Lai, this time guarded by Eric Tisby, Marcus Elliott on top, driving. Oh, denied by Mike Bell. An emphatic rejection coming from Mike. And you know what? Marcus Elliott is still looking for his offense at this point. He's probably missing the fact that everybody else is contributing for him. He doesn't have to do all of this by exactly. himself. That's right. They got a, he's got a lot of help tonight. Lao Chi Lai, oh. in one of them. Back to back hits from free for Lao Chi Lai. Boy, the shooters of Hong Kong are just doing their job today. And Hong Kong Eastern getting the steal. Lee Ki faking it, moving closer. That's going to be an offensive foul on Lee Ki. The moment you lower your shoulder against somebody who is trying to stay in step with you, like Lee Ki did, trying to create some space, it's more obvious if you do it against a smaller guy. And uh, Leakey got caught. And now it's 61 to 80. Eastern on top by 19 points. 8 and 40 remaining. Again, this is the second meeting between these two teams. Young firing from the right wing. It's off. Marcus guarded by the longer Mike Bell. Marcus will regroup here. They're switching every time there are screens right now. Now Chi Lai, no good on the curl. And 
Here is Mike Bell. Bell pulling up for three. Off to the right. Back in for the rebound. It goes back to Bell here. A fresh 14 to work with for the Wolf Warriors. If you're Matt Skelman, you gotta love the effort that your team is showing right now. May not be able to pull off this win, but this is a big improvement. This is a good character game being played by the Wolf uh -oh. Warriors. Leakey. Lucky break there for the Wolf Warriors, though. Open look for Lee Key missed. Tisby. They go to the post. Kai Chen against Tang Chi Hang on the turnaround here. He will not get the bounce. And Hong Kong Eastern just cruising here in the fourth. Lee Key. Two straight misses for Lee. Wu Shuk Pan tracking the ball down. Elliott firing. Rims out. Hong Kong is doing just enough to win here yeah. against the Wolf Warriors. They'll be happy to get a win and they get out of this building the way the Wolf Warriors are making them earn this W. And Kai Chen getting fouled underneath by the smaller Tang Chi Han. And you got Wu Yeo. More free going in now. Oh, this is interesting because you have two five foot eight guys. That's right. Are working side by side now. These two guys have great handles, but the question is, will that produce positive results mm -hmm. for Matt Skillman? That's something we will need to see here, Kai Chen. I don't know if Kai Chen actually had any extended rest yeah. in this game. He's probably played more than any of the imports. That's right. A little bit of fatigue here from Kai Chen. Rims out the second. Oh, out of two there on that trip. Seven minutes remaining. Marcus orchestrating now. Lao Chi Lai back to Elliot at the post. Elliot backing down against Leung. Cross court. Eric Ferguson attacking and scoring with the left hand. He's a percentage player, at least in this game. Coming off that 27 point game, he is picking his spots and it has been successful for Hong Kong Eastern. Eric Ferguson now tallying 24 points. Bell on the turnaround. Series of moves, no good. And Eric Ferguson will slow it down here for Hong Kong Eastern. When Mike Bell figures out the system, figures out his teammates, he's gonna have a better outing. Marcus on the hesitation there. And Mike Bell. Now you sort of forget that Mike Bell is already 36 years old. He's playing like he's 26 right now. He's just looking for his uh, looking for his groove. That's right. Mike Bell so far has nine points in the game. We got a timeout here. Called by Coach Kilman. And they're down by 21 points. Back for more fourth quarter action here in uh, Doman Gymnasium. We are in Zhuhai, China. 21 point lead being enjoyed here by Hong Kong Eastern. And they will have possession here. Marcus Elliott has been struggling from the field in this game. Only 10 points for Marcus. Working now against Tisby. Still off in his shot. Yeah, he's still gonna he's still gonna probably get that triple double. Yeah. Even if he's only got 10 points and shooting very bad. Wu Yo attacking, kicking it out. I Chen the extra pass to Tisby. Tisby on the pull up chain. Again, the system is gonna work for Matt Skillman if everybody subscribes to it. I give the Wolf Warriors about two more games before they become a threat to all the teams here in the ABL. And look at the hustle there by Leong. Kick out though. And out Lai unable to convert on the open look. Kai Chen running. Cross court to Tisby. Tisby. Getting fancy here, throwing the ball away straight to Marcus Elliott there. Lao Chi Lai back to Elliott. He's got the open look. Elliott's still off. Just not his day today in terms yeah. of shooting. Eric Ferguson now firing. It's his day. That's right. <laughs> Opposite games for Marcus Elliott and Eric Ferguson as Ferguson now scores his 26 point. But Leung Ans is right back there for the Wolf Warriors. And while these two teams will meet again, this time in South Orange Stadium on December 4, that's going to be on Tuesday. So this is... Yes, getting to know each other. And yeah. I mean, Matt Skillman as the new head coach, 
of the Wolf Warriors has so much time now to prepare. Well, not really so much time because you're only talking about three more days That's right. before they make the uh, very short journey from here to Hong Kong. But he'll get a feel of uh, what he has to work with already. And uh, this game is actually, as we see an eight-second violation, this game is actually something that he will look at and, to, and point out more of the positives That's right. than the negatives. Of course, the negatives here for uh, Wolf Warriors costing them the game, but the positives that kept them in the game, uh -huh. that's what Matt Skillman is gonna emphasize in their next practice tomorrow. And Noah, what's the main positive that they should work on, they should focus on in the next practices? Talking about the Wolf Warriors. Well, Eric Disby is probably, for me, the biggest positive they have right okay. now. He is a legit point guard. I mean, not take nothing away from Mario Wuisang yeah. while he was here, but Eric Disby provides speed, leadership, stability, and all sorts of shiftiness that That's throws right. defenses off guard. And Tisby. There he is. Scoring 22 points, unable to convert on the scoop. And remember, he's a legit 5'8". We stood beside him earlier. That's right. And Shu Wing now with a basketball, Hong Kong Eastern. Swinging it around, John Shu. Missing the shot. Here's Wu Yo. More free. Oh, here we go. On the open floor, challenging the Guada there. He gets the ball back. Kai Chen, short stop. Bothered by the Guada. Shu Wing with a save. Gets it to John Shu. And Hong Kong Eastern will slow it down. Four minutes remaining. They've got the 20-point advantage. It's going to be a big relief for Edu Torres, and they're going to snap that three-game losing streak. But again, if he's going to look at the tape, in stark contrast, yeah. Edu Torres is going to look at all the negatives that That's came right. out of this game, something that they have to work on within the next three days when they meet this team again, this time at home. And you were mentioning earlier, as we see here, Mike Bell score on the reverse. Coach Edu Torres, when they were leading by single digits, he actually was very frustrated with yes. his team. He knows that this team can do too much, but probably the biggest factor that they have to overcome, they're already five games into this season. Tyler Lamb is no longer with the team. Christian Stan Hardinger is no longer with the team. They have to move forward from that right now. What can guys like Chance Yu Wing, uh, 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 Lee Ki, uh, Lao Tsi Lai, what can they bring to the table? They have five legitimate shooters yeah. on this team that can create damage at any given time, free up enough space for Sam Deguara. We saw about 10,000 pick and rolls That's right. that they ran here today that they, we hardly saw when Sam Deguara was with Mono with, with, uh, Vampire. And despite the fact that Marcus Ali is probably having one of his most atrocious shooting performances of the season, they are going to come away with this win. And if they work as a unit, they develop these young shooters, right. then they would have a better chance. But I, I would have to say that my MVP of the match right now, if I was to give one, is actually Ferguson. Mm. from For the way he has just picked his spots, mm. chosen his shots, you know, it doesn't even make... It doesn't even make sense to say that, you know, Sam Deguara and, and Marcus Elliott are, um, well, Marcus Elliott, for that matter, not really having a good day because Ferguson right. has carried the load for Marcus Elliott. And Ferguson scoring 26 points to lead the way earlier in the first half. It was Lee Key with 15 points. Now talk about team ball, right? That's right. Oh, and miscommunication there for the Wolf Warriors. Uh, as Kai Chen was trying to find Shentu, but Wong will remain on their side with nine seconds to work with. And Hong Kong Eastern is actually fielding a uh, much deeper team this season. Uh, you guys, or you got John Chu, Adam Su coming off the bench alongside Lao Tsi Lai, and of course, at times, Chan Shu Wing and Lee Ki. And Wolf Warriors converting on a three-pointer there. That's going to be interesting when they meet each other for the third time already. They're the first pair of teams that are going to see each other three times yeah, already that's this true. season, this coming December 4th. Wu Yo getting the ball back here. 16-point lead. That is the deficit they're facing. Here's the move inside. And Say unable to convert and challenge Deguara there. Deguara didn't even have to jump for that one. And, and this is also good that Edu Torres is keeping the Guara out there on the floor yeah. so that he can get a better feel of what his young teammates can bring for, for the uh, Hong Kong Eastern squad. And slowly but surely, they're getting a feel on, a better feel on how to utilize the Guara on the floor. Right. Kai Chen firing. That is short, Ferguson. Tracking the ball down here, bringing... The ball up for Hong Kong Eastern. They've got a 16-point advantage. Approaching. Two minutes remaining here. Soft floater. 
That's not going to work. Ferguson still hustling here. Ferguson gets the putback. He wants that career what? high, and he's already got it right now. 28 points for Eric Ferguson. And here is another steal for Hong Kong Eastern. Well, we were right. They're not going to be blown out by 39 points today. We're talking about the Wolf Warriors. Yeah. And it's going to go the other way. Wolf Warriors will have possession with only Mike Bell as the world import on the floor. Mike Bell is just trying to get as much experience points as he can with his young squad as well. He's going to be a, uh, a leader by example for the squad. If the vocal leader is going to be Tisby, it's going to be, you know, Mike Bell and Eddie Curry yeah. as the voice of wisdom for the squad. Mike Bell only 11 points in this game. Uh, oh! Yeah. Scoring over the Guana also with the offhand. Matt Skillman calls him the most popular player in China. Street wow. ball legend. Just went and grabbed the opportunity there. Ricky Yang, Adam Su, Hong Kong fires, no good. And rebound goes to Jenning Leung. A minute and 16 remaining. Yes, they're just trying to trim the deficit at this point and trying to get Bell some open looks, uh, some uh, good touches. Adam Su is going to be called for one here. But again, looking at Hong Kong Eastern, there's a lot of positives they take away. Of course, yeah. they're going to get the win uh, on the road at that. Uh, but also, they've, they've discovered that if they run the pick and roll well enough, they don't force it all the time. Mm -hmm. Sam DeGuara is going to get so many open looks. There's not a big guy in the league. There's nobody bigger than Sam DeGuara right. in, in, in the ABL. So if they can develop that more, teams are going to look, okay, let's, let's uh, defend that pick and roll. But now their shooters are going to get more open. Yeah. So now it's going to be a pick your poison when you go up against the former uh, ABL champions. But consistency is going to be key here as uh, say scores underneath of the dish from Mike Bell. This is a learning game for both teams. Edu Torres is going to take so much. Uh, I love Fernando Gordo's assistant coach. They're going to get so much from the yes. tape of this game just to see what worked, what didn't work. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're talking about the higher seeded teams right now. Formosa surprising a lot of people. That's right. Saigon Heat surprising a lot of people. This is going to be a very unpredictable ABL Season 9. Those two teams that you mentioned still undefeated. Mike Bell scoring inside. And again, making the most out of this opportunity is Mike Bell with 28.9 seconds remaining. Uh, he is able to trim the lead down to 12 points. So Mike Bell now with 13 points. Not a bad outing for, for Mike Bell, but obviously it could have gone better for him. Yeah, probably there's still a lot of rust that he needs to work out. And he loses the ball there. So last possession time here for Hong Kong Eastern. They will just need to melt the clock, Ricky Yang. And this is going to be yeah. an impending victory for Hong Kong Eastern. They will snap their three game losing streak going up now to two and three in the season. And these two teams, Noel, will face again, as we mentioned earlier, on Tuesday, December 4. 2018 and that's going to be at the South Orange Stadium in Wan Chai, Hong Kong. And again, they, the Wolf Warriors lost by 39 points on opening day, losing by only 12. A lot of things that they can learn from this game, but I like where Matt Skillman is right now in his first game as the Wolf Warriors head coach. He has so much to look forward to with the way his team responded to that first timeout that he's yeah. called 30 seconds with uh, into the game. And for Edu Torres, it might have been an ugly win for him. It might have been an ugly day for Marcus Elliott, but Don't there were it. so many people that stepped up. And you see the stats here for both the Wolf Warriors and Hong Kong Eastern. Rebounding dominated by Hong Kong Eastern. Assist also, but coming close, not very far are the Wolf Warriors showing more uh, well, team basketball in this particular game with 22 assists. 
and just matching turnovers with Hong Kong Eastern with 15 apiece. They only had 20 assists the last time they were blown out of their own building, but I'm looking at the three-point shooting, eight of 26. That's a good challenge against the 11 of 30 yeah. of Hong Kong Eastern. And to think that of the 11 of 30, Marcus Elliott jacked up a lot of shots that just missed. He was having a really bad day, but also credit to guys like Leaky, Chan Siu Wing, Lao Tsi Lai. I mean, these guys really stepped up for Hong Kong Eastern, and uh, we're looking forward to that matchup on December 4. And something they could uh, actually pick up here, they only took three free throws in the second half, right. while taking 15 in the first, making 14. So they were a bit less aggressive with Hong Kong Eastern running away with it in the second half. That's Great. something they uh, yeah. can actually build on moving forward for this team. A great game from uh, from Ferguson, really showing us why he deserves to be the import. Probably uh, the world import, probably they can build around him. You know, Marcus Elliott likes to be able to deflect some of the responsibilities on his other teammates. And uh, for the Wolf Warriors, of course, if Eddie Curry can establish more of a post presence yeah. in their next game, and they get that, uh, they get that system of Matt Skillman uh, under their belts, they're going to be pretty formidable. That's right, and that's it for us here inside the Dome and Gymnasium here in Zhuhai, China. Once again, Hong Kong Eastern, the visiting team, taking the victory, snapping their free game losing streak. They now go up two and three in our season. They get the win 88 to 76 over the Wolf Warriors. And on behalf of our broadcast team here, my name is Martin Avier, and my partner, Mr. Noah Zarte. Thank you so much for catching us here in the ASEAN Basketball League. We'll see you guys next time.